So we are live. We are live right now, and uh, he just asked me if I got a bonnet on, man. You know, we gotta come through with the bonnet, man. Definitely as always. So before we get into this, uh, it's your boy Eric, aka Young Guy, coming to you live from the from the Green Dungeon, giving it to you real raw, rugged. And uh, usually, when I do these interviews, uh, my next thing is tell the people who you are. But I have to give you an introduction. I have to give you a special okay. introduction. So um, everybody knows me from my channel. Knows that. I love to get some New York slander in. Any chance I can slander New York, I'm slandering New York. But it's Where all to from? the... Huh? Where you from? I'm from Florida. Okay, all right. Every chance. But right now, uh, I'm in the presence of a, of a young legend right now, man. I'm not finna slander his hometown, man. This guy legitimately has one of the best projects, albums, whatever you want to call it, of this decade. It's legitimately top, I'm going to say 25 of this decade. We'll get to which project I'm talking about later on, but... I just want to say thank you for having, uh, thank you for giving me a chance to give you this interview. And uh, we got Mr. Motherfucking Esquire, man. How you doing today, man? <laughs> hey, man. How's everything going with you, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Uh, yeah, I'm chilling, man. I had a rough night. I got drunk last night, man. Really? I'm just recuperating today. Yeah. What, what were you drinking? I was drinking. Um, I don't even remember. So <laughs> he was that drunk. You don't remember what you was drinking, nigga? What? <laughs> it's so the That's crazy. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Right, I, was to, I was supposed to go. I feel bad because I was supposed to go to um, Danny's listening party last night. Mm. For his album. Yeah. And I didn't even fucking go, man. I fell asleep, man. In the cab. I just came home. He had it in New York. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He had it in the city. That's crazy. Um, I Apologize. I told him I was coming. Yeah, you got to be real drunk to get to go some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, before we get to anything, I started this off by saying I like to slander New York a lot. And I'm curious, you being a New Yorkian, uh, how often do New York niggas, if New York niggas at all, slander Florida? Because I feel like every time I hear New York niggas bring up Florida, it's like, oh, you niggas a Florida man. It's a Florida man. So if that's a thing, do New York niggas ever slander Florida niggas? I never heard it, personally. No. Really? Never heard it. Really, really, really. You ever been to Florida? Tons of time. My father lives in Florida. Where at? Broward. Broward, Broward. Okay, that's... Broward, and um, he has one house in Broward, and he has another house in um, West Palm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, I'm a little up north. I'm in Jacksonville, so yeah, man, shout out Okay, to you, you way up there. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm at the tippy top, but... Uh, yeah, I know, I know where you at. Yeah. I think I got a brother up there. My father got like 15 kids, so... Really? I, I got a brother up there. You like the oldest, middle child, youngest... Second oldest. Second oldest. Yeah. That's crazy. And I got I got two sisters and thirteen brothers. I don't see how old niggas and women used to do that. Like I cannot that's a lot of kids, bro. I don't get it. <laughs> he just my youngest brother is only four. Wow, so so he's still putting in work basically. Yeah, my pops my pops fuck bitches. <laughs> he's still putting in work. <laughs> Are you trying to follow that lineage and have like twenty kids, or what are you doing? Nah, I'm only I'm on I'm only on number one, so you know what I mean. I'm about to have a kid. Actually. Really? Congratulations, Nobody man. Nobody knows that. Yeah, I just found out. I just I found out. Um, I just came back from Greece. I was on vacation in Greece, and with my girl, I found out I was having a baby. Crazy shit, man. I don't have a kid, but I always hear niggas say when they have a kid, they change. Is that a thing? Yeah, I heard that too. I didn't have him yet. She only eight weeks right now. So. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, Crazy shit. Do you think that you need a kid to change or you like where you're at in your life? Because I feel like a lot of niggas are like in a scumbag bag and then they have a kid and they're like, damn, I was going down a wrong path. But are you in a good path right now or are you like deep down in your scumbag living right now? I'm hoping that it changes me. I'm hoping it changes me. You know what I'm saying? In what ways? I'm hoping. I'm hoping it like makes me more. Um, as I as I stare at this young lady's ass. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope it. I hope it makes me like you know um, more mature. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm, I'm curious what it's gonna do to me. I heard, I heard it's like life changing. I heard like you just be like, oh, like. That's what I hear too. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we are gonna see. I'll let you know. Definitely. Um, so I guess to take a step back, let's get into your music real quick. How I even found you? Uh, probably like early 2010 era, I seen a, a, a mixtape cover. I was on live mixtapes. And I want to say it was like one of like the premier mixtapes. 
and it was a picture of Lethal Lips drinking a 40. And yeah. I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but I'm going to listen. You want to know the story? You want to know the story how, how I shot that? Uh, Go ahead, man. Let me know. Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, Man, we supposed to shoot this whole other cover and shit. I got all fly. You know what I'm saying? Like, taking all these dope-ass pics. Then I got drunk. We was all drinking and shit. I was trying to fuck Lethal Lips. He was at my house. And I passed out. <laughs> tough. You know what I mean? Because I'm a terrible drinker. I see. So I passed out in the tub, and uh, she was peeing, and they came in and took the picture. And I was like, we was going through the pictures after, and I was like, oh, fuck, that's it right oh, there. Oh, so that's like, authentic. Huh? I said, that's authentic right there. That's, that's all real. Yeah, I like to do it real. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that, that was it. Yeah. That's but crazy. Go ahead, man. Carry on. So I see that, and I listen to it, and I'm like, okay, this is, um, this is interesting. I didn't know how to feel about it. I was like, this is interesting. I want to see what he put out next. Yeah, so yeah. I, I listened to a couple things next. But the thing that really like hit me where I was like, okay, this nigga might be a legend was Kismet. I knew he was going to say that. That album right there, I don't know, man. Our mixtape? It's a mixtape, right? Yeah, it should have been an album. But it's a mixtape. Bro, that literally should have been a fucking album. That yeah, mixtape is that. Bro, that mixtape is better than 90% of like albums that came out afterwards. It's yeah. a really great album. So I want to start there. Like, nigga, how did you... Because I feel like to make an album like that, you had to been going through something. Like, that ain't no, like, I'm, like, the happiest nigga in the world. Not saying you sound depressed, but when you make an album that, like, fire, like, you have to put, like, soul in. You, 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 that was, like, some, some shit you had to put into that. So were you going through anything around that time or, or what? Yeah, I, was, I probably was, man. I think I just, I just went through a breakup. I broke up with this chick I was dealing with. I wrote that album about her. Mm. So the whole album is about her. The chick that's on the on the skit talking to me and shit. Yeah. Yeah, shorty. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. That's somebody. the same chick you was talking about when you was like, she deleted you off Facebook because she think about you or whatever. That's the... Nah, that's the next one. I was just busting. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, how many bitches did you fucking, nigga? God damn, nigga, this nigga here, man. Hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so that's the old me. Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so I wrote, I wrote that about a female, yeah, for the most part. I think, and I, I remember seeing a cover, and I was like, I don't, I was like, this is more ridiculous than the Lethal Lips shit. I'm like, I don't know what this nigga is doing, but I listened to yeah. it. And, bro, it's like, not only is it a great album, like, the technical side of it, like, the way you rapping, the stuff you talking about, uh, just the concepts, like, you got a song called Noble Drew Ali, like, mm-hmm. you was talking some shit on there, bro, and, yeah. man, I don't know, I just want to say thank you for that album, bro, like, that shit, I oh, listen to that so many times. You bro. know, it's crazy, because people, a lot of people love that album, man, that shit is wild on me, even, like, um, I one time I was on the beach, and some old-ass Jamaican dude, like, some old-ass nigga come up to me, like, Kiss match, kiss match. I'm like, what the, how the fuck your old ass ever heard this shit? I love that album. Like some old gray haired dread you make it do. I'm like, yo, that shit is, how the fuck did you hear this record? But yeah, a lot of people love that album. That shit's, bro, I mean, you got Paper Hearts on there, bro. Like, that's a crazy song, bro. Like, yeah. Running is a crazy song. Like, I don't know, can we get the full version of that? That's what I want to know, because that shit, the way it cut I off, you know crazy? I need that. I was in the studio with that same chick. You know what I'm saying? I was in the studio with her, and she's a singer, you know mm. what I'm saying? So, we used to write a lot of music together, and shit. so, like, um, I wrote that song with, like, not with her, like, she wasn't, like, giving me bars, yeah. like, you know, singer, but, like, I just came up with the idea with her, and the song had, like, a chorus and another verse, but it was terrible, like, you ain't missing nothing. I don't even have it no more. Really? I don't even have it. So, it faded so, out for a reason, basically. Yeah, yeah, I got that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm glad you said that, because... You ever like listen to a song? You like, bro, this shit's fire. And then he put a feature on it. You like, bro, this shit is trash, bro. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm like that with bad and boozy. I hate Uzi verse. Or really? You don't like you don't like Uzi verse? I, no, I don't like his. I love Uzi. But, but you don't like his that. verse, really? Nah, I don't fuck with his verse. With that I might have to run it back. I can't think about it right now. That's <laughs> crazy. Like, That's crazy. I'm trying to think like, of a. Think it just went off. We didn't even need you, bro. I mean, I would have preferred take off on that song. So I, I agree with yeah, you on that point. I would have exactly. I'd prefer to take off on that song. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a song right now that when it comes on, oh I got you. Um listening to Young Thug's new album and he puts Machine Gun Kelly on it. 
I don't know what made him think that Machine Gun Kelly should be on any album in 2019, <laughs> but he put Machine Gun Kelly on it. That is exactly what that is. Like, I don't understand that. Why do rappers do shit like that? Like, do rappers not hear shit and be like, this isn't good? Like, do they just want to keep everything? Like, what is, what's up with that? Nah, you know what it is sometimes? I'm going to tell you, because this has happened to me. Sometimes you might ask somebody for a verse, and they give it to you, and you don't like it, but you like, ah, oh, fuck, I, I already asked. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I don't want to burn the bridge. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah. be a real nigga to just be like, yo, bro, like, nah, that shit wasn't hitting, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes the dudes, you get trapped off. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm trapped on somebody's song. They probably listen to, like, an extra ass on that shit. Like, it happens. <laughs> get on me with this. Do you have a feature verse that you regret? Like, you like, damn, I could have came harder on that. Uh, shit, man. Probably Huzzah. Mm. I hate that verse. Really? Yeah, the remix, yeah, I don't like that verse. Why? Is it, doesn't the remix have a LP on it? That's that verse, yeah, right? Yeah, that was everybody's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still they killed me on it. So then, like, I just went on a mission, like, because I thought L killed me on that song. So when I did his album, I just slaughtered him and shit like that. Like, I had to because I was like, nah, he killed me on my shit. So I kill you on your shit. Nah, L went crazy on that. I song with, from that song, every time I rap with them, I'm like, yo, I got to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, man, I just want to say, before we get off this album, Kismet definitely is, uh, it's one of them albums that, man, it's one, I think, like, you know how some things get appreciated, like, ten years from now, five years from now, whatever, I feel like, as time goes on, that's gonna be one of them albums that people discover and be like, yo, we were asleep on this when this initially dropped, like, do you feel the way, like, other people feel about this album to this album, or you don't understand why everybody loves this album so much? Nah, I get it, I get it, because I don't really listen to, like, my old shit, but... Uh, sometimes I listen to it and I'll be like, man, this shit was fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't really listen to my... I try not to cause start comparing. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely feel like that. I think it's going to stand the test of time. It's, it's crazy. Too, it's, cr- it's crazy because you're so nonchalant with it right now. And this shit's classic, bro. <laughs> like, like it's like... That's like if I met Jesus. And I was like, Jesus, like, you resurrected? Like, mm, nigga, I, mean, I came back from the dead. <laughs> and I beat the devil up and shit. Like, nigga, you Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... <laughs> Nigga, you made this album. Nigga, you need to be proud of this shit, bro. Like, you're way too calm and nonchalant about this, bro. This album is insane, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Now you gonna make me go listen to it. Bro, I'm dead ass serious. Like, I don't I don't know if we had this. I, I may have talked to you before a long time ago. I'm not for sure. But I reviewed this album, and I put people on it. I put a lot of people on it, and it was like, yo, this shit's crazy. And I'm like, yes. Like, nigga, this is amazing. And I remember for the longest... I um I was just so stuck on that album and I kind of like lost track of what you was putting up. So I think last year I just caught up on everything I missed. And I'm like, yeah. yo, I don't get why this nigga isn't like at a a better level. So you being, you think it's your fault? Why? I probably don't. Uh, man, I probably don't. Well, when I, well, I probably don't socialize as much as I probably need to. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get better about it. Like I'm just like I'm just a, like. For me, I'm just an artist, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My mind, I'm like, I just want to do my music and chill. Like, I don't really want to be in the mix. I never like to be in the mix, ever. You know what I'm saying? But you, in this game, you kind of got to be, you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I really, I really can just say it's my fault. I really can't even, like, like, everybody loves me. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I just be on my shit. Like, I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I feel you because I went to L.A. for the first time, and uh, everybody there is, like, rappers and things. Niggas is fake, bro. And niggas is, like, weird, and it's like, you know, I understand why you wouldn't want to socialize, because niggas aren't regular. Like, niggas is putting on a persona. I could tell you being yourself right now. Like, you ever talk to a rapper, and it feel like, it's like, bro, there's no cameras around. Like, you don't have to act like this. Like, I know you really yeah. don't act like this, so I get why you don't nah, socialize. a lot of them do. A lot of them do. A lot of them what? Really like that. You think they really, really like that? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm close to a lot of rappers. Some niggas is really like that. Like you know, Troy, I have like exactly how he is. On, on I believe that. No, I believe that. <laughs> that shit is not an act. Really and I knew Troy, so I was like 17 years old. Really? That nigga always did that. <laughs> That's funny. Do you yeah. think that your personality ever like um I guess conflicts with other rappers and that's why you don't want to socialize or are you just like an antisocial? I mean, I mean, you know, it's crazy. I do socialize. I just don't like. I don't play the game though. Like, cause like. Some of my best friends are rappers. I, even, like, I like I don't even like taking pictures with niggas I know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be around fucking L and Mike for, like, a week and don't take no pictures with them. Just, because I feel like that's some fake shit. Like, yo, we really, like, we don't got to always be 
for the gram, for the gram. Like, that's really your man's like that. Like, you don't need to be taking pictures all the time, being on, like, trying to high shine and clout chase and shit. Like, I just keep it regular, man. But I shouldn't do that, because you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take pictures and shit. You're supposed to, like, you know what I mean? People are supposed to think that, people are like, oh, yeah, he knows everybody. Like, it's so lame, though. It's like an illusion. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, so, it's like you're putting on an illusion. It's like, yeah, it's so yeah. weird, man. Yeah, I don't like it. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get better about it. Like, I follow so many niggas that are, like, be with a famous nigga. And they'll be like on their phone or in their story. They'll be like, yeah, you know, we in, the, we in this bit with Rick Ross. You know, Rick Ross say hey to the camera. And it's like, bro, yeah. like, that's like, calm down, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit's weird. Have you ever been in that predicament where a nigga did that to you? Like you were the nigga in the background. It's like, oh, man, we got, we got this nigga in the back. And you had to like. Yeah, this is very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. How do you react in a situation? Do you just like play it up? Or do you just like kind of like, like when you're in those situations, like how do you react? Just ignore that type of shit. Uh. You know what I mean? I mean, because niggas gonna be niggas, bro. Like, niggas be, like, it's just like, some of these niggas be so weird. Like, I was, I was kicking it with this dude. I'm not even gonna say who it was, because everybody knows this nigga. He's like, yo, yeah, I know you used to be robbing niggas and shit. I'm like, why the fuck are you even talking about that? Like, <laughs> why would I be telling you some shit like that? Like, I don't even know you like that. Was he making a point, though? Like, was it justified in the next lick? asking me what type of street shit I do. Like, yo, no. what type of street shit you do? Because I do this street shit. You know what I mean? So, know we like yo dog like why are you talking to me about this but that's how they are like they win like they really are like you think it's not an act a lot of these niggas is just like that sounds like you were talking to six nine at that point sounds like you were, sounds like you're trying to snitch nah, on you something nigga had a wire on <laughs> nah i don't know that nigga yeah i'm about to say you ever met that nigga before um uh, probably but he wasn't like nobody back then mm. I don't know. yeah but yeah like, he used to always he used to always come like there's a club in brooklyn uh Every, we always used to hang out in there. He used to always be in there and shit. Like I, but he wasn't like tattooed. Like he wasn't like that. He just, I guess, he just morphed into a clout demon out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I feel bad for him. And it's crazy because even though, um, like, man, uh, it's so many like underground niggas coming out from New York right now who I feel like are regular niggas. And I feel like. Yeah. I feel like that's a curse and a blessing because one niggas can see is authentic. But it's a curse yeah. because niggas want the fake clout demons or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like, like niggas, family, yeah, like, like niggas like you, Mayhem, Loren. Um, yeah, I, I interviewed that nigga, hilarious guy. Um, yeah, man, who, uh, man. Griselda, all them niggas, like everybody, just seemed like authentic. But I feel like sometimes that that organicness holds you back. So you personally noticing that you said that you kind of want to work on, I guess, like. Is it a becoming a personality? Is that a good, is that a good way to put it? Nah, I don't want to do that shit. I just probably just like networking more, just you know, doing more verses with people and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like next record I did, I put a lot of, I got a lot of people on it and shit. Let me tap, tap into my friendships and shit like that. But um, yeah, just just that, just that aspect of it. I don't think I could ever like put on the front and be somebody I'm not. I just I don't have it in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I think because I think I think when I rap, my personality is real big. If you listen to it, it's all there. You know what I mean? But, like, if, if you know me personally, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like that, but I'm not really like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, get, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's like, S.Y. is, like, super version of me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But right now, it's like Anthony right now. So yeah, definitely, so. definitely. No, I, um, I, uh, when I knew I was going to interview you, I was checking everything, and I didn't even know you put out an album this year. So Yeah, I put out mine in July. Didn't even know. So I'm listening to that this whole week. Yeah, great album great album bro thank you, thank you. N- nosedive that's a crazy yeah. song bro that's <laughs> nigga i'll listen to that song i was i was looking behind my shoulders man i feel like somebody was watching me <laughs> that shit had me paranoid the whole album bro so that that's a fucking great album though bro that is no, a fucking great it. album i, I do want to break down what are you about to say i put a lot of work into it so i appreciate it and i was nervous about doing the album so i'm glad you like it why why were you nervous I ain't doing it so long, you mm. know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't know if I still got the juices in my, you know, my hands still could write that shit. But you know, I think every artist goes through that, through that, through that whole like self doubt, like, oh, do I still, can I still rap? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But really, it's all bullshit. Like, I know I'm nice. I just be bullshitting with myself. I want to break down some of the stuff in this album. Before I do that, because I'm gonna forget to say this, you know what I think is your most underrated song pre Kismet? Pre Pre Kismet, I think your most underrated song is Go Watch. 
Oh, the Gold Watch. Yeah, I love that song. That's a yeah. great song. I don't really see too many people bring that up when they're talking about you. Yeah, yeah. You know what? They don't. They don't. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I feel like my Mary X mistakes just kind of get like... People get slept on. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must, that's why I stopped doing them. I'm not doing them. Anymore. Damn, that sucks, bro. Like, you love it so much and then you don't get the feedback you want. That sucks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like those are like some of my best shits, but like, niggas didn't really... I don't know if people thought it was just like a bullshit record because it's Mary X. I'm like, you know what? From now on, I'm not doing that no more. I'm just going to make an album. You know what I'm saying? Just call it an album. Like, this album, I just called it an album. But, like, his man was an album, but we called it a mixtape. But it was, it was a fucking album. You know what I mean? The beats was original to rap. So, you know, but people like those words. I don't know why. Like, everybody said this is Young Thug's first album. I'm like, how? I got, like, 50 fucking albums. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, you got you to gotta play the game. All right, this is our album. We use the A word for the young niggas. Yeah, this this last album you put out really good. Um, I do want to talk about Nosedive because I'm curious. Like, are you, were you say like you're a big like conspiracy theorist type guy? Yeah. Because I see you sample Alex Jones, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know I if you know this or not, but Alex Jones just did a podcast with Ti. Did you see that? I did not see. That's that. That's a like, real thing. Like it. <laughs> You got like Alex Jones is like turn the frogs gay, and you got like Ti like expeditionly, my nigga, like and it's just like yo, this shit is crazy. And uh, they they just put out the podcast, I think like a couple days ago. I only seen the snippet. I have to watch that whole thing. I'm telling everybody, you everybody needs to watch that because that that's just fucking mind blowing. That's crazy. Yeah, that's mind blowing. I gotta get on that. You got to, but uh, yeah, uh, conspiracy theories. Like, uh, what got you into conspiracy theory? Always been like that, or what? I always been like that. So I was a kid. I always question shit. I think I think you can't you can't be an artist unless you question shit. Or you could. You know what I mean? Cause I doubt G I doubt G easy is like questioning shit. <laughs> but like <Yeah. laughs> just going with it, right? <laughs> but nah, um Yeah, so I just I just always question shit and I did a lot of that shit I don't believe, but I just think it's interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like I just think it's funny sometimes. I watch it, I'll be like, This is just some hilarious shit. Like lizard people and all that. I mean, that shit probably not true, but it's interesting. You know what I mean? That's what I like about it. We shot a video for that, too. I, I just didn't put it out. Because I put it on YouTube, but they kept flagging it. So I just stopped trying to put it up. Why? I don't know. I think I think I probably said some shit that was true. Mm. Probably, I don't know. Maybe lizard people know. is true, man. Maybe they heard you say that. I was like, nah, we gotta get this nigga out of here, man. Yeah, they got me out of here. They are like, this nigga's not putting this shit up here. We get this nigga the fuck out of here. That's funny. You know what I mean? But um, I'm probably putting it up next week or something like that. Right. What are some conspiracy theories you do believe in, though? Um, <clears throat> I believe in the Illuminati, like you know, like the hidden hand and like somebody secret is running the whole world. I believe that. It's definitely true. You think so? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. You don't think so? Um, no, I definitely do. I definitely think there's like, come on, bro. These, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I can't trust old white people, bro. Shouldn't. Shouldn't, bro. And I don't really, I don't really trust white people in general, but especially sure. old white people, <laughs> I don't really trust sure. them. So, you should never yeah. do that. <laughs> that's, a, that's number one rule in like the, the nigga handbook. So yeah, 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 um, I know they got some up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I definitely believe that for sure. Oh, uh, you think Trump is running shit? He ain't no. running shit. Nah. Wait, man. Alex Jones said this in the podcast. He said Trump is the first president running shit since Kennedy. I don't know how much to believe of that. But, but Alex Jones white. So- I, you look at me. I'm going against the rule already, man. I'm going against the rule already. <laughs> Trump is. I don't know. Like Trump is an interesting nigga because I do think it's something different going on with him there. You don't think you think it's still the same show, or you think something's different going on with him there? Well, what I think, I, honestly, I think that it's two sides to it because just like anything else, and I don't mean like Republican and Democrat. I mean whatever they're doing up there, it's two sides of them. You know what I'm saying? Like they beefing for control. And we're watching that right now. Mm. And Trump is just a signal of, like, he's one of them. He's just, like, a, a random-ass nigga. They're like, oh, let's, let's, let's give him a shot. We could control him. But then when he got in there, they was like, fuck, we can't control this nigga. <laughs> How you look? Like, this, damn, this whole cabinet went to jail. Bro. Yeah. This whole cabinet is in jail. Like, yo, what president do you know every nigga next to him getting locked up except him? And he like, no, nah, I'm clean. And people that's Trump supporters, like, yeah, he claims. I don't get it. Like, how do they, why do they say that? That's crazy. <laughs> but they got, they about to get him out of here anyway. He about to get impeached. So. You think so? I mean, yeah. Things gonna happen. 
don't know. I just feel like if that nigga get impeached, I know that nigga vice president. I know he like super MAGA, so I don't. Yo, Pence, oh, Pence, I heard Pence dirtier than Trump. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, do we really want to replace? Like, we might as well just let this let right, this shit ride out. Right? We might as well ride this shit out, man. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you, but I'm like 100 percent sure he's like finna like wash whoever he running against next year. What you say? I think he finna win next year. I think he washing whoever he run against. Yeah, if he, if he if he gets, I think that's why they're trying to impeach him because they scared to have him running. Against. Yeah. They like yo, we got, he not gonna beat him. They don't got nobody that can beat him. Bernie can't beat him. Know what I mean, Bernie ain't beating him. The nigga was Biden. Biden is trash. It's over. Everybody okay, putting so their faith in that Asian nigga, man. The Yang Gang nigga. The Asian Yang nigga. I don't trust that nigga. It's on the bottom. <laughs> ain't getting my vote, nigga. Hey, man, that's hilarious. I was trusting the nigga too, man. But now that you say that, now I gotta reevaluate that nigga, man. Yeah, I was, I... <laughs> it's weird to me that black people put their faith in like these politicians because ever since the dawn of time, there really hasn't been like a big politician that put on for niggas like that. I don't understand why they put their faith in like, oh, Hillary Clinton's going to do this for black people. Yo, I don't get it either. It's bro. weird, bro. It's yeah. the weirdest shit, bro. It's the most insane shit ever. Like, clearly they don't give a fuck. So. I've been saying this for all year, man. The realest party we ever had was the Black Panther Party, man. And they're Absolutely. not around anymore. So Absolutely. They gone. They got rid of them niggas, too. They seen what they, they seen what was finna happen. It was like, nah, we can't, can't have this happen at all. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the thing that what made them so fly... Is they was all young niggas, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they started that, they were 17, 18 years old, met in college. So, like, and then what they would do is they would go and get the street niggas and team up with the street niggas, you know what I'm saying? So then you had the smart kids working with the street niggas, she was unstoppable, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you got the niggas that's going to bust the guns, and you got the niggas that's going to read books, and they all sitting together like, how we going to fake this trap? That's what we need, you know what I mean? It's too much division with black people, like, the nerd niggas think they... Don't, don't want to fuck with the thug niggas, the thug niggas, the nerd niggas. Everybody got fucked with each other just because we black. That's how white niggas do it. That's how all these other niggas do it. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come together. But it's not going to happen. But if it was to happen, that's how you know that's how we would win. Everybody got to work with each other. Man. But At I, least a good amount of people got to work with each other. We don't need everybody. We just need this one. I've been saying this for the longest, bro. The reason that I feel like a lot of this isn't happening is because... Even like you were saying, some of the Black Panthers they went like thug niggas, but some a lot most of them had street smarts. Like they knew how to talk to street niggas. The niggas that's running shit now, like I'm pretty sure D Ray wouldn't know how to talk to fucking uh goddamn Kodak Black. You know what I'm saying? D Ray McPeace, you talking about? Huh? The dude with the vest? The yeah, the vest nigga. Oh yeah, I slapped up. That's my point. Remember when he went to um what's that shit? Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah. yeah. So it's like so we we putting we're putting our faith we're in, putting in faith this stuff? nigga. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm saying like we putting our faith in this nigga like nah. Fuck out of here. Yeah, they slapped him. Um, what's her name? Sunday killed Sunday slapped him. Um, King D. Seals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They burnt him in his car. Shot him in the back of his head. The cops killed him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he slapped shot D. Ray. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was, a, he was. A, I think they was scared of him. He was, he was a, like he was on his Malcolm X shit. Like he was a thug nigga, but he was like on his black shit. So it was like I think that was just him. They got him. They, Cause anybody you see like that, they gonna kill you like Tupac. Like, right, get him out of here. You know, I was talking about Tupac like a couple of days ago, and we was talking about um like how when he got the death row, he went full thug nigga. And I'm curious, yeah. I'm curious of your your opinion on this. Like, how much of that do you think was like, how can I say? Like, cause we were debating was it an act or was he went there and he just legitimately just got super influenced? Like, what do you think happened when he went to death row? I mean, Tupac was already a wild boy. He was already busted though. It's like. Think about you. He, he went to jail with two cops before he was on death row. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 so them beat the dude in the streets who off duty officers came and shot the shit out of him. You know what I mean? That was before death row. Tupac was wild, boy. Like, Tupac was wild. Like niggas don't even know. Like that nigga was not. He was not like. I mean, he just was like conflicted. He was a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think everybody says that. Like, oh, he started acting like that. But I don't think so. Cause all the stories you hear, he shoot that niggas. Or niggas shooting at him. So, how soft was he, really? You know what I'm saying? I think, But I think he got on his... Like, he turned blood and all that. Like, he played himself. Got himself chill. That is a fact. Um, also, just speaking of uh, just things outside of, of music, or your music, I know something you are interested in, and that's uh, wrestling. I'm a wrestling fan. Wrestling. wrestling fan myself. Um, yeah. what, what do you think about 2019's state of wrestling? You think we're in a good Yo, place, bad place? Crazy. 
next week, AEW Woo! going on. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm waiting for. I can't wait. I'm like a little kid. I'm going to have my little food, give me some curry chicken and all that. Be in the crib. <laughs> it's an orange soda. I'm chilling, yo. I can't wait. Like, I was hyped for that shit. You know the home base is actually in Jacksonville because they partner yeah, with the Jaguars. Yeah, I know. So they on the Jaguars. Man. Hey, so a nigga trying to get a little job out there. You know, I'm trying to get a little. Good. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. Slide up in there with the bonnet on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, <laughs> I, I, I fuck around side with the bonnet on. You fuck around the young bucks be some mag ass nigga. What the fuck is this nigga doing here, man? <laughs> nah, they, you know they collect Jordan. They do, you right. They, they do, they do Rod George. They, they, they yeah, might they fuck with niggas. They only niggas shit. They only niggas shit. They online, they online for the Jordans with niggas. Like, what up, <laughs> Getting <laughs> raffle tickets for Jordans and shit. That's hilarious. And then Cody, Cody married with Brandy. You know yeah, yeah. Pop damn near was black. That's the most damn near was black. You know what I'm saying? Cody was black. So, you I'm know what I mean? I might have to. They probably with it. I might have to, man. Um, Who do you think? I would. Who do you think is finna like win between these wars? Like you think it's finna be the NXT, finna be AEW? Who you think is finna, but like by the top of next year, by the top of next year, where you think it's gonna be at? I don't think they should be focused on competing with NXT. I think they did like that was a chess move. They made they made people was going AEW versus WWE, and then WWE was like, "Yo, put this shit on at the same time as these niggas." Nobody's gonna make that comparison. Now everybody's like AEW. Mm-hmm. But NXT is the little junior brand. Yeah. It's like I threw my little nigga at you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they try to throw us off with that, but really we was like, oh AEW about to take the WWE. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh AEW. It's like they did a little mind game. I ain't think, about, like, that. Not on our level. I ain't think about that. 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 That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I, if I was them, I wouldn't even. I'm like, fuck NXT. We coming after the big. We coming after the big boys. Like you know what I'm saying? We gonna move our shit to Friday. We gonna move our shit to Monday. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be compared to the juniors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they the juniors. But I fuck with NXT, you know what I mean? Like, my man Velveteen Dream is fire. But, uh, I'm not really a Johnny Gargano fan. I don't really fuck with Gargano. Well, nah, I fuck, I fuck with Johnny G, man. Nah, man, I don't fuck with him like that. I don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like his matches, man. Shit's R- mad. What? Nah, you wildin' now. This nigga is, like, mad little. This nigga does all this crazy. He'll do, like, a thousand Canadian destroyers. Like, like, bro, stop it, bro. Like, this shit is not even believable, no more, like... 100 kickouts. Like, I don't like matches with 100 kickouts. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you throw a nigga through a table, you lift up the ring, slam him on the shit, power drive him, go crazy. One, two, oh, he kicked him. Like, get the fuck out of here. They gonna just shot this nigga. Like, I don't like, I don't like his matches. Daniel Bryan is my favorite wrestler. I love Daniel Bryan. Man. Okay. Like, he's fire. You know what I'm saying? Because he make it work. Like, he's little, but he just, everything he does makes sense. Like, when he fought Brock, it was like you almost thought he could win. Because yeah. it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your yeah. favorite favorite match of the year so far? If you could pinpoint one, um, I like that. I like when um, I like Moxie shit in Japan. You you watching his shit? I haven't yeah. watched his Japan shit yet. Shit is fire, bro. Really? Like, change the whole style. Yeah, like he wearing tights. Like he on some whole other shit over there. Like he's on some MMA shit. Like shit is hard. He killed it. He he had a match with um in the G one. He fought Ishii. You should watch that show. At least watch the highlights on YouTube. It should be. It was like 25 minutes. Yeah, I, I slept on the G1 this year. I meant to watch it. I slept on the whole thing this year. Yeah, yeah, he bodied it. He bodied it. I'm that match with him and Ishii was, I probably, that probably my favorite match of the year. I don't know if I'm this, not, I don't know if this is my favorite match of the year, but it's the most recent, and I remember like just loving it. I really enjoyed it from the NXT UK to Walter and Tyler Bate match. I didn't see that. I saw the highlights. It looked crazy. That bro. shit was, bro, that shit was insane. You have to oh, watch that. Fucking insane, bro, if you don't watch the whole pay-per-view, fuck the whole pay-per-view. The pay-per-view was good, but just watch that main event. Bro, yeah. first of all, Walter looks like a fucking Nazi, and that shit looks yeah. insane. <laughs> he like a fucking, like, boss-level Nazi. I'm like, yo, this nigga finna fuck shit up, bro. Incredible. That nigga's crazy. Yeah. He's incredible. I fuck with Walter. So, yeah, you, you definitely gotta run that back. Like, that shit's... Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out um, when I go up. Yeah. All right, bet, bet. So before we get out of here, I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, before we get out of here, I'm gonna leave you with a couple fan questions, and we can, we can right. dip. So, uh, all right. So me being the nigger I am, I didn't have the I don't have the fan questions up right now, so I gotta pull them up. So just give me a second. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, while I pull this shit up, yeah, that nigga, um, the 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 fucking just UK brand or whatnot. I haven't been watching it at all like that, but mm-hmm. it's definitely some definitely some five niggas in there for sure. Yeah, yeah, I like Tyler Bate. He's, he's a bad boy. Tyler I like Bates. Tony Storm. She got a fat ass. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, speaking of just like foreign niggas, I proposed this shit, and I swear this would be like the most insane match, but everybody been saying like, nigga, you wildin'. Like, they doing nothing with Oscar right now. Nigga, if they put Oscar versus Brock, I think that could be one of the more crazier matches of the year. Just think about it, because they both beast in their own, like, fucking gender. But they, got, they don't respect Oscar. They don't. They don't. I thought they would have had a fight Ronda. That was just, man, that was just perfect. That makes sense. That makes sense. How the fuck y'all ain't do that? Even, like, um, with Brock, how the fuck he ain't fight um, Lashley? How the fuck y'all ain't do that? Where the fuck is Lashley? I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea where that nigga's at. Yeah, but I'm saying, how, how did he? Because I feel like, I feel like last year will really fuck Rock up in real life. Ah, you wildin'. You wildin'. You yeah, wildin'. you will. You wildin'. You wildin' now. <laughs> last year will beat the shit out of Rock. Hey, I, I fuck with, you know, I rock with black people, but hey, man. Brock a different nigga, bro. Doc, like, Brock like a different nigga. Batista fought Booker T. Booker T washed him. They fought in the locker room. That's not a good comparison, bro. That's not a good comparison. Well, I'm saying all that muscle shit don't mean nothing. But, Brock was getting beat up by little. Cause he was sick, bro. He was sick. Hey, I'm a Brock stand, so I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna let Brock go out like this. I'm a Brock stand, so I can't, I can't let Brock go out like this, man. But um, I think, I think last year whooped his ass. You think so? That is hilarious. All right, so I got the, I got the questions up right now. So we got, uh, we got smack dab. He said he tweeted recently that he'll be a good A and R. Has he ever considered starting a label, signing acts? Also, tell him his self-titled album was really good. <clears throat> oh, shit. Nah, no labels for me. That shit too much work, boy. And if mm. that shit don't go right, motherfuckers gonna hate you and shit. I don't wanna deal with it. LP told me never start a label. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, J.E. J.E. Consulting asks, ask him his personal thoughts on the Wu-Tang Saga series on Hulu if he's seen it. I ain't even watched that shit. Mm. <laughs> the documentary was good, but I ain't watched the show yet. I'm the doc was good. I ain't watched the doc either. The doc was good? Yeah, it was good. It was good. I liked it. I'm about to peep it. Um, who else we got? Real Talk My Nigga asked. He said, ask him how hard it was for him to sober up, and when are we getting the collab tape with Wiki? <clears throat> how you know me and Wiki doing the album together? <laughs> I don't know where you um, got it from. Shit, it's hard as hell to sober up, man. I, I wasn't drinking... So July this year, and I, I fell off the wagon. I started hanging out too much, partying and shit. But I'm, I'm gonna get back on it. I'm gonna get back on it. So I, my soberness is not, it's not there. But I told myself I would never get to the point where I, I say I wouldn't do anything. Like, I don't be like, yo, I'm never going to drink again. Like, yeah. I might, I might not. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. But last night was definitely one of the nights where I did play myself. <laughs> um, her I think that's how you say his name. He says, ask him what his personal favorite project is. I feel like he put a lot of soul into Kismet. <clears throat> um, I like all of them for different reasons. I really don't have a favorite. You know what I'm saying? I really don't have a favorite. They all fucking incredible to me. But, um, yeah, I mean, Kismet, I think Kismet is the best put together one. You know what I'm saying? And then the last one I thought was really good, too. So. It's a fact. Uh, Mad Vils, he has a couple questions. He says, um, ask him about chilling with yams before he died. Um, oh, I'll, I'll let you go with that first, and then I'll continue with his rest of his questions. Oh, yeah, you know, it's funny. Because <clears throat> we, we, you know, yams is like a real super big fan of mine and shit. So we never hung out. We only hung out one time in Texas and shit. You know, me and him. Mm -hmm. Like, I know Rocky. Me and Rocky's always been cool. <clears throat> but, like, I never hung out with yams. And then one day he called me. He was like, what you doing? I moved to Brooklyn. I'm like, what? So I went to his crib and shit. You know what I mean? We played WWE 2K all night. Mm. And listened to music all night. And then he, he wanted to manage me. Mm. So he was going to manage me. That was a conversation we had that night. And then he died. He was asleep and he died. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because, like, I know he, I didn't know he was going through drug problems. Because, like, I said, I wasn't really close with him like that. So, like, um, I always feel bad. So, like, had I known... I probably would have been like, yo, don't be doing that shit. Like, yo, chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I didn't even know. So I was like, oh, that's what these niggas do. Like, I never, I never drunk lean and all that. I wasn't into that shit. But I seen them doing it. And I'm like, no, nah, that's just what they do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't even say nothing. But I always felt bad, man. I woke up the next day and then uh, my man called me like, yo, this nigga Yams died. Yo, I cried like a baby because we had got so close just that one night. We was both like, damn, why we, 
how we ain't been fucking with each other? Yeah. Like, it was like, we made a real bond. And then he died, man. Sad. Sad. It still bothers me to this day, actually. The biggest regret that I've, that like, one of the biggest regrets I've made, I don't know if I ever told this story on here before, but I remember it was like 2 to 1 o'clock in the morning, and um, I had uh, found that nigga Instagram, and I like liked a couple pictures or whatnot, and like 10 minutes later, he followed me back, and he liked a bunch of pictures, and I guess my Instagram was like funny to him, because, you know, he a funny nigga, so he probably thought it was funny, and I just never thought, I was like, oh, he followed me, that's cool. And I never thought anything about it until he died. And I was like, damn, I, I could have, like, reached out to that nigga and, like, talked yeah, to him. because I don't even know interviews. I was, like, I was young at this. I was, like, 15 when this nigga followed okay. me. Okay. I was just doing straight comedy funny shit on my Instagram. He probably thought it was funny. So, yeah, at that time, I wouldn't even think about doing an interview. Just to, you know, just chop it up with the nigga. Because he seemed like a nigga that you would want to have a conversation with in life. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. that was definitely one of my regrets. That's small. Ever he kind of remind me. He remind me of myself. Like, you know a little bit about everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Like kind of like you. you. You seem like that to me too. Like we can talk wrestling, we can talk street shit, we can talk basketball, we can talk about porno. My knowledge is extensive. Bro, that's <laughs> that's one of the be- like while you playing, that's really one of the best things to have in your like your your arsenal to be able to talk about everything to a certain extent. Like you may not be able to full expert, but I'm good enough to have a, a conversation with you at least about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a very useful thing in life. Um, the rest is questions. He says. <clears throat> And ask him about being part of the whole early 2000 wave when rap was going through a change with ASAP, Raider Clan, Danny Brown, Bronson, GBE, Pro Air, etc. And then also ask him about how did he think he fit in. Um, yo, that shit was that shit was a renaissance. I think I think that's the last time rap was real to me. Like, I don't think people knew the internet yet at that time, so it was all real. Like everything was actually organic and. It wasn't like everything was just like influencers and paying for shit and yeah. all that shit that they do now. So it's cool. It was, it was cool, man. It was a great moment. I'm like just being just partying all the time back then was just fun to me. That's what I miss about that. Time. Like just hanging out because you like it was just like the illest shit, man. It felt like it felt like I felt like they're gonna make documentaries about that time. Of year. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That shit was that shit was fire. He also adds a, I don't know what this means, maybe you do, but he says a Cold Vein versus Fun Crusher, please. Oh, Cold Vein versus Fun Crusher? What album do I think is better? Ah, okay, yeah, I guess that's what he's asking. How do you know? I never heard it, I never heard the Cold Vein, so I wouldn't even know. Um, so I, I would have to be Fun Crusher by the Okay. Um, and the last question comes from a young NATO. He says, hey, I'm a big fan. Gotta ask, who's your favorite porn star? My favorite porn star? Yep. Wow, that's random. Um. Oh, Miss Miss uh Miss London. Ooh, but I'm trying to interview her. Just talking about yeah. interviewing people. I've been trying to interview her, my nigga. You have? I've been trying to. I've interviewed. I interview a lot of porn stars. She's like next on my list. Oh, I gotta check your shit out. I gotta. You gotta send me the links to this. I, I gotta do it for research purposes. <laughs> I've interviewed. Uh, like, who you fucking with now? Let me see if I interview some of them. Like, just chicks at you. Like, okay, I'll fuck with them. Um, I like. I like. I don't even. I only watch black girls, so I don't like. Don't know white porn stars. But uh, Tiana Trump, obviously, she's okay. kind of black. Um, <laughs> she's kind of black. <laughs> That's funny. What you call it is fire. Uh, I don't even know because I watch a lot of amateur shit now, so I don't really be fucking with like the main. Who you interview? Tell me, I'll let you know. If well, I know. Last, like, the last chick I interviewed actually is kind of like uh, getting big. Uh, Simone Richards. Oh, Simone Richards is bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna quickly tell this story. So uh, I went to LA like I said, and uh, my friends went to this 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 party. It was like a, a club, and they came home and they was like, "Yo, we got invited to go to this porn pool party tomorrow. Y'all coming?" And I was like, "I don't know." So the day come and they like, "You coming, Eric?" I'm like, "I don't know. It sounds kind of weird." Man. And they was like, "You sure?" I was like, "I'm good." So I stayed at the crib and I watched like a UFC pay per view. And I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the UFC pay per view. And my friend texts me a picture. He got a brown pumper. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's funny. You took a picture of brown pumper. So they come back and they're like, nigga, you missed it. I'm like, what I miss? But these niggas show me in the middle of the pool party, like Simone Rich is getting piped, bro. <laughs> like she just like getting her like guts just like beat up. And I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so my cameraman, he went with me and he went to the party. He got her number for me. I'm like, bet. So I ended up doing an interview with her, and she's supposed to be coming out of Jacksonville to do like a little, like a little video with me. So it's gonna be fun, bro. She's, she's, oh, she's, she's fire. Yeah. Fuck with her. yeah. Shout out to her. So I yeah. Fuck with her. It's a from Texas. I forgot her name, man. She's like Jazzy, Jazzy. You know what's up, Jazzy Fast, something like that. Nigga, name. Jazzy Fast. What she look like? What she look like? 
that she like caramel skin slim, but she got the little fatty. She bad though. She like she about nineteen. She look young as hell. But I gotta I, I gotta look her up. And if I I listen to this album, I think it was on this album that you just put out. Maybe I'm wrong, but I swear you shouted out a porn star in this album. Did you or no? Did, on this album? I, I think you said you were watching TV with somebody, and I feel like it was a porn star you named. Bro, my trip. Oh, no, no, I, I, no, I, I know it was Mystique from the X Men. Ah, I mean. you had a Mystique, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, watching okay, Twin okay, Peaks okay, with Mystique. Okay, 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 okay. Well, okay. nah, nah, I don't think I had no porn star bars in this. I don't think I had no porn star bars in this album. Yeah, man. Well, let me I see. Heard I don't know. Let me see, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's all the fan questions. So if there, you got anything else you want to let the, the niggas know watching, man, uh, be my guest. Shit, um, nosedive, nosedive video, probably drop it next week. And then uh, my next album will be out. It's done. It's super done. So it'll probably be out October now. So I guess November it'll probably drop. I'll probably drop that one. And I did, it's the first time an album with one producer. My next album. The whole album is produced by one person. Who? Can't say. Can't say. Can't say. Alright, man. Well, hopefully... When niggas, when niggas hear it, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? It's like, it's like one of those producers. It's okay, like, okay. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> so, for all the niggas watching right now, appreciate it. Say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. Players gonna play. Y'all holla at your boy.